most common heating system we see in uh, this general area tends to be this, the forced air furnace. All right? And I call this thing the big dumb box. Now, you're probably wondering, why do I call it a big dumb box? Well, can you see this picture okay? All right? Your furnace, it only knows two things. All it knows is flame on and flame off. And the blower on your forced air furnace, it takes the heat from this flame, blows it through the ductwork, and blows it out into the rooms. But, just like I can't take and blow air into this bottle, your furnace can't blow air into a room that's already full of air unless there's some way of taking air that's in that room and running it back to the furnace. And that is the purpose of your cold air returns. Now, a lot of people tell me cold air returns aren't important. It's only cold air. Well, here's the importance of your cold air returns. Your furnace can only push out as much heated air as what it can draw in return air. So if you block off your return air registers, the furnace doesn't get enough airflow through it. And do you know where all your heating dollars go? Out the chimney. So it's important that you find where all your return air registers are in the house to make sure that they're not blocked with furniture, carpets, carelessly discarded clothing. <laughs>